A few weeks ago, I posted a video on this channel where I showed you how, to, how I mix greens. From that video, I also posted a chart on my website, I'll leave a link down below, where I showed you how I mix 42 different greens. If you're interested in that chart, in that download, uh, again, look for the link below. After people on my channel watched that video, they got back to me with comments and questions asking, I would love to know how to mix a beautiful turquoise color. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I figured out how to mix turquoise using common colors on my palette and not using convenience colors. The colors I use are probably colors you already have on your palette. I'm going to share four recipes for turquoise. Let's get started. Welcome to my studio. My name is Chris. This channel is all about tools, tips, and tutorials for growing in watercolor. I'm glad you're here with us today. Before we get started with the mixing, let's talk about that word turquoise a little bit. We know that the name turquoise comes from the rare mineral gemstone with that name, turquoise. A lot of people wear jewelry made from turquoise. It's considered a semi-precious stone. But the word turquoise originally comes from an old French word uh, meaning the country of Turkey. And that's because the first turquoise to ever come to Europe came through the country of Turkey. As you can see from the image here, turquoise stones vary in color greatly. There can be turquoise that are very light blue, uh, bluish green, even a yellow green color. And if you start looking online for definitions of the color turquoise, Oh my goodness, you'll be amazed by all the different colors you find. Here's some pictures of different colors that I found online that people call turquoise. Again, they vary all the way from a light blue color uh, to bright greenish blue and all the colors in between. And if that isn't confusing enough, the more you look, the more you realize some people use the word teal and turquoise almost interchangeably. Turquoise is similar to teal in that they are both greenish blue colors. They are colors that are, come from a mix of blue and green. However, teal is typically defined as a darker color. It's less saturated or less bright. Um, and actually the name teal comes from a type of duck. Maybe you've seen one like this before. It's a duck that looks like this and it has a stripe of teal on its head. And that's where we get the name from. So while turquoise is brighter, it's more highly saturated, and even has a little bit of hints of yellow in it, teal tends to be darker, less saturated, and a little bit more towards blue. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around, and we're going to take a look at my painting surface, and I'm going to show you how I mix turquoise or teal from the colors on my palette. All right, I want to start out by sharing with you two convenience colors that I already have on my palette. I have a turquoise and I have a teal. These are both Daniel Smith colors. The first here is Thalo turquoise, and I'm going to take these colors and swatch them out along the top just to create a sense of uh, kind of a baseline uh, for how we might define these colors or how other people define them anyways. Again, this is Thalo Turquoise. This is a Daniel Smith color. It is a mixture of two pigments. We have PB15, colon three, a cool blue, with PG36, a, that's Thalo green yellow shade, I believe. The second convenience color that I have on my palette is Cobalt Teal Blue. Put that here in the upper right. This is also a Daniel Smith color. It is a single pigment color. It is PG50. Thalo turquoise on the left and cobalt teal blue on the right. Now again, what if you didn't have these convenience colors on your palette? How could you mix these colors? That's the question I want to address in this video. I'm going to start with a cool blue, thalo blue green shade. Again, that's PB15 colon 3. That's the same pigment that was used in this thalo turquoise up above. This is a really common blue that's included in many palettes, many sets of colors that you might buy. It is a cool blue that leans towards green. It is vibrant and bright, highly saturated. And there we see thalo blue green shade. And I'm going to mix that 
with Nickel Azo Yellow. Again, a Daniel Smith color. This is PY150. A really beautiful, vibrant yellow color that mixes well with other colors. Now to mix these two colors, you want to start with your Thalo Blue Green Shade. And then we're going to add just a little bit of the Nickel Azo Yellow. If you add too much of the Nickel Azo Yellow, you will get too much of a green color. So you can see already that's a real bright green color with that nickel azo in there. So I'm going to go back towards the phthalo blue. And I found that you really want to dilute this blue quite a bit. So a fair bit of water. And again, as I move away from the greenish where I put in too much yellow, back towards the phthalo blue, you start to see a beautiful turquoise or teal color emerge. And that's what I'm going to swatch out here. See how much mixing I did to get that right color? And that's the color I can achieve with Thalo Blue Green Shade and Nickel Azo Yellow. That is pretty close to the, the Thalo Turquoise you see up above. It's actually a little bit in between these two colors. While I'm at it and I have my Thalo Blue out here, I'm going to go ahead and swatch this next color down here because here I've also used Thalo Blue Green Shade. And I'm going to mix it with a different yellow this time. Mixing my Thalo Blue with Hansa Yellow Medium here, which is a uh, not necessarily a cool yellow, not a real warm yellow, right in the middle. So again, I think I've put in a little bit too much yellow. And so now I'm going to take, go back to my phthalo blue and just start adding that back in until I achieve what I would uh, judge as a turquoise. Again, the amount of water is going to make a difference as well. And again, you can just kind of go back and forth between the blue, the yellow that you're working with to get the, the color you're looking for. And there we have our mixture of phthalo blue green shade with Hansa yellow medium. I forgot to swatch the Hansa yellow medium here. I'll do that right away so you can see those colors side by side. Hansa yellow medium, another Daniel Smith color. This is PY97. My next recipe, I'm going to start with phthalo green blue shade, which is PG7. Again, another common color, a single pigment color. Again, I haven't really talked about that much yet, but my, my approach to mixing here is uh, to choose uh, to mix with colors that are common on most people's palettes. And for the most part, these are, these are not convenience colors, and for the most part, they are single pigment colors, meaning they're made from only one pigment. And so here I have, uh, on the left, I have my phthalo green, and since I'm using a green to start with, and I already have a fair bit of yellow in there, I'm going to go and mix this now with a more pure blue. And for that, I'm going to use my cobalt blue, which is uh, probably a kind of a middle temperature blue, it's as close as it comes. Not real warm, not real cool. So this blue is further away from green than, for example, the phthalo blue green shade I had there. So I'm going to mix these two now and see if I can get a turquoise or teal color. Again, I'm starting with the phthalo green, and I'm just going to bring over a little bit of this cobalt and start to mix that in. Again, I'm just adding water. If I go too far towards blue, I can go back towards the green, but I'm, I'm liking that right about where that's at. I think that's a beautiful turquoise color. Let's swatch that out here. See the similarity in these various colors? And we're using, every one of these is using a different uh, combination of colors, but we're coming in pretty close to a, a turquoise or teal color here. I decided to get a little creative here and add a fourth mixture. And for this one, I'm starting with Cerulean Blue Chromium PB36, Daniel Smith color. And just because I'm wild and crazy, I wanted to try something a little different, I decided to mix Cerulean Blue with Naples Yellow. 
Now this is the only color I'm using in my, my recipes today that is not a single pigment color. This actually has three colors in it. I don't have very many colors on my palette that are a mixture of three pigments, but this one is unusual and I like it. It's, it's Naples yellow. It is PW4, PY97, and PR101. So it's a mixture of white, yellow, and red. And for my mixture, I'm starting out with the cerulean blue, a little puddle of that. This is, by the way, a cerulean blue chromium. There is a cerulean blue in the Daniel Smith line. I prefer cerulean blue chromium. That's PB36. And now to that, I'm going to add a little bit of my Naples yellow. Now this color is going to be much more muted than the other ones, just because of the nature of the two colors I'm mixing. Cerulean does not tend to be a very, it's a very brilliant color, tends to be very muted um, and all, but um, I just thought this was an ex interesting mixture when I brought together these two colors. Again, I'm going back and forth between the two colors, just getting the right mix. And there you go. A bluish green color that uh, is similar to turquoise or teal mixed from cerulean blue and Naples yellow. Okay, I've gone ahead and let it dry and now you can see here the four mixes that I achieved. Uh, from these various colors. I'm going to go ahead and do a high resolution scan of this, turn it into a chart with all the information and the color names and pigment numbers, and upload it to my website at studio.kristabruin.com. I'll put a link in the description below. If you'd like to get a copy of this, a, a free copy off my website, go ahead and follow that link and download it, and I'm happy to share it with you. Again, I've tried to use common colors that I think most people have on their palette. However, if you do want to just go out and buy convenience colors, you can see two great ones I have here, uh, the Thalo Turquoise or Cobalt Teal Blue by Daniel Smith. Some people have asked me, if I had to choose just one of these convenience colors, which one would I purchase? That's a tough question, but I have to say that I use the Cobalt Teal Blue a whole lot more than the Thalo Turquoise. I love granulating colors. You can see how much that granulates. And I just think it's a beautiful color. Again, that's PG50 Cobalt Teal Blue. That would be the one I would have to buy. In my research for this video, I just went ahead and took a variety of colors from my palette. Again, single pigment colors, common colors, and did a lot of mixing and swatching until I found a few turquoise and teal color mixes that I thought I could share with you. I encourage you to do the same. Get your colors out, start mixing, start swatching, and see what you come up with. So there you have it, four different ways that you could mix a beautiful turquoise or teal color from the colors already on your palette. I encourage you to try these mixes, or if you don't have these colors on your palette, then use what you have. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep on growing in watercolor.